some very interesting events have taken place in these recent days in our Holy Spirit School building. This is the building that hosts our school, but also our Wednesday night catechesis, classes, and other parish activities. A large interior section of non-supporting walls began to tilt. As of this filming, we are still unsure as to what the cause is. Our next step after removing the unstable walls will be to cut open the floor to do further investigations. So much remains unknown. We do not know, for instance, if this will be covered by insurance or not. I am hopeful we will be able to find the spaces in the unaffected portions of our facility to accommodate our Wednesday night youth programs and various parish needs this coming fall. We pray too that we will quickly be able to make the repairs and bring our school back into these very halls soon. Here is our principal giving some explanation of what has taken place in these days. Hello, my name is Jason Cutterba and I'm principal at Holy Spirit Elementary School. Earlier in May, we noticed a bulge by the little deacon room, which was causing some concern where the drop ceiling meets the hallway. When we came to school the next day on Tuesday, May 17th, we noticed a significant breakage in the bricks from the bulge where the drop ceiling meets the wall by the little deacon room that caused great concern as the inside of the wall and the closet had significant loose bricks and they were like a, a Tetris game. As we did more investigation, we noticed that there were more and more cracking in each and every closet and bathroom in the hallway walls. It was on Wednesday, May 18th then, that we noticed even more cracks and the cracks were getting larger. It was by the end of the day that we decided to close school early. Letters went out to uh, Holy Spirit School families, went out to uh, the rest of the JP2 uh, school community that Holy Spirit School would be closing school Friday, May 20th. But we made it work and the kids enjoyed it. We created some memories. Fifth grade still got their graduation. And then we sent them all home early on Friday. Fast forward, since we decided to close school the following week got increasingly worrisome as we didn't know what to do or what was going to go on. Uh, meetings started to be held on what the progress was going to be. We didn't know, were we going to be able to repair this? How bad are the damages? And what are we going to do? As I, as I talked to you here on June 22nd, most of the interior walls from coat room to coat room down the approximate 90 foot hallway are torn out. It's definitely a memorable moment. It's not something that I would that I would like to do again, but you know, we do what we have to do. And so as the interior walls come out, it's from there now that we will find out and we'll put the in structural engineers to work as to what the cause is and what is causing the interior hallway walls to bow in. As we move forward with, you know, deconstructing Holy Spirit School and finding out what's wrong, we were blessed with the bishop's permission to move to St. Mary's Elementary School. With that decision came a big move, and we were totally blessed with the teamwork of everyone coming together. The community of JP2 schools is so strong, and putting out a request to have the strength and conditioning team and any available athletes on June 14th was such a blessing to have them there and to be part of something that is going to definitely be memorable as we move into St. Mary's Wanzik Center. And we couldn't have done it without the whole community of JP2 schools.